everyone, it's Mrs. Pablo and Bryce and Logan. And we're saying hello, happy Sunday. Can you say happy Sunday? Happy Sunday. Can you say happy Sunday? Happy, happy Sunday. So we're gonna have worship and then our lesson, and then we'll see you soon. Say see you soon. See you soon. Say see you soon. See you. Okay, see ya. Ruth 116 says, where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God, my God. All your ways are good, all your ways are sure. I will trust in you. special guest with me today and we are celebrating today Sunday in right in front of the pool I love the pool um, and today Sandy and Andy are with me say hi hi say hi hi and we are have a very special guest today this is Megan say hi Megan hi Anna hi everybody and we are just coming to bring our lesson today. So we're so glad. It's a little hot today. And uh, so that's why we're sitting in the shade and hoping that we don't get too much of a sunburn. And, but we have a little problem, don't we? Yeah. What happened? Tell me what happened. Well, I, I, I sort of got Sandy in trouble. Yeah, he got in trouble and, and now 
I'm so sad. Okay, don't cry. We're gonna fix this, okay? You will. Yeah, we're gonna help you out with this, all right? Okay, and, and Megan's gonna help us, right, Megan? Yep. All right, so, so let me hear a little bit of the story, what happened, and I want you to start, okay, Andy? Okay. I said... Oh, okay, you gotta keep going. I said, I told my mom that Sandy broke her watch. Oh. Yeah, exactly. I know why you're sad. Okay, so you told your mom that Sandy broke her watch. Yeah. And then what? And then what happened? Well, okay, well, I'm going to let Sandy tell the story from now on, okay? I'm going to let her tell her side of the story. Yeah, uh, I was playing, and, and then... The watch dropped, and Andy said it was my fault. And he said to his mommy that I did it, and I didn't. Okay, we're not gonna get mad here, okay? It, anger doesn't solve anything, does it? Make him, though? No. Okay. All right. So, and then what happened, Sandy? Well, well. I got in trouble, and I don't want to be in trouble for something I didn't do. Oh. Okay, see, see what you did, and that's not the right way to go. Now, what does the Bible say about when you do something like that? The Bible actually talks about in James two ten. It says, "For whoever keeps the whole law, that means you." obey all the rules and you just follow everything the Bible says and it says but if you stumble or you you make a mistake and you sin and you disobey and you rebel in one point you are guilty of all and all that means is when San when when Andy told a lie it then moved to something else because then Sandy got in trouble yeah and then everybody else got angry and look at everybody else now is angry about something that that andy see how that caused a really big problem yeah so when you do something wrong it causes other things to happen that then you've got to cover it up or you've got it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and it's so bad but you know there is a way that we can fix it there is i don't have to be in trouble anymore well, i don't have to be in trouble either but what happened when you when when sandy got in trouble i got in trouble too does anybody know that sandy didn't break the watch no no oh. is there a way that they can fix this megan is there a way that they can fix it? Um, yes. Yes. Andy can apologize to everybody and tell the truth. Did you hear that? Yeah. So he has to tell everyone? Yeah. Okay, so that means that means you have to apologize to Sandy. I do. Yes, isn't she your friend? Yeah. And who else should he apologize to? She apologize to parents uh -huh. and Sandy's parents. Okay, and well, maybe who else? God. <gasps> you've got to ask God for forgiveness. It's called forgiveness, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've got to ask God for forgiveness. Okay. What do you say? What do you say? I'm sorry, Sandy. Ah! Ah! I don't know if I want to forgive him. But, you know, that's part of doing the right thing because if you don't forgive him you're gonna you're gonna be mad at him for a long long time and then your heart will get hard and then that leads to some that's like you being disobedient okay i forgive you andy andy okay <laughs> you gotta really forgive him that means you gotta start being nice to him again i'll try all right then you've got to say you're sorry to her parents and your parents. Okay. Can, can I pray now? Sure you can. All right. I will. We will all say amen after Andy prays. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're going to do that. Okay. All right. So you put your hands together and you're going to pray. All right. Dear God, 
I'm so sorry for lying about Sandy breaking mom's watch. Will you forgive me? I'm so sorry. All right. And when everybody said, Amen. Amen. That was a really good prayer, Andy. It was. Yeah, and God hears and answers your prayers and forgives your sins. Feel better? Yeah. Sandy, my friend again. And God's my friend again. God's never not going to stop being your friend. He just wants you to be obedient. Okay. And then we just got to go apologize to parents now. All right. So that's our lesson for today. Now, if you need to ask forgiveness... You just need to tell the truth and ask forgiveness and say you're sorry and ask and ask for God to forgive you and parents to forgive you, whoever you hurt, whatever you did the wrong to. And it'll, it'll be better. Now, sometimes there's consequences, right, Megan? Yes. There are consequences, but the consequences are better, much better than you carrying all of that yucky in your heart. All right. So the video that comes up next is going to help us understand that. And so we'll see you again next week. Only we'll be filming from home next week, not the pool. All right. Um, and it was so great having you, Megan. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Oh, I'm so glad. All right. Say goodbye, Andy. Bye. Say goodbye, Sandy. Bye. I, I feel better, too. I'm so glad. I see it works out. See how that works? That's so good. All right. See you next time, everybody. Bye. Bye. Hi everyone. Happy Sunday. It's Bible verse time. All right. So the Bible verse is James 4, 7, and 8. We're going to do it twice. Ready? Submit to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw close to God and he will draw close to you. All right. We're going to try that one more time. Okay. Ready? James 4, 7, and 8. Submit to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw close to God, and he will draw close to you. James 4, 7, and 8. Practice, practice, practice. It makes perfect. Actually, better to practice and do it, right? So if you find yourself wanting to do something wrong, might be the devil saying, do it, do it, do it, and you're gonna run away from him. And remember, if he runs away from you, he's he's running away from you. So you've just resisted him, and he's running away from you. All right, well, one more Sunday, and then we're gonna have a new Bible verse for September. Practice. Um, the, birth, the, the video after this is just a fun, a couple of fun videos for you to watch. I thought you would enjoy them. Okay, we'll see you next Sunday. So stay, stay on for the next couple of videos. Enjoy them. When you think of the word rules, maybe the thoughts that come to you are, wait just a minute, pull over. Stop right there, mister. Take that grin off your face. Don't do that. Get away from there. And so on. But we need to remember that rules are there for a reason. Stop right there. <laughs> Why should I? Because it's dangerous, that's why. Hello, kids! I'm King Solomon. Who wants to play a really fun game? It goes like this. I'll tell you to do something really silly, but you should only do it if I have first said, Solomon, that's me, says. If I don't say, Solomon says, then don't do it. At the end of the game, we'll see who is the winner. Why are we dropping confetti? It's the beginning of the game! For this game, everyone will need to stand up. Okay, are you guys ready to play? I can't wait to see who will be the winner. Ah! Why are we doing this? Come on! 
on, guys. Here we go. Solomon says, put your hands on your head. Solomon says, put your hands on your shoulders. Now, put your hands on your nose. Solomon didn't say put your hands on your nose. Solomon says bounce. Solomon says clap your hands. Now stop. <laughs> Solomon didn't say stop. Solomon says Act like a robot. Now, Solomon says in your best robot voice, say, I love wisdom. Now, make a robot beeping noise. Beep, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Did anyone beep? Because I didn't say, Solomon says. Okay, let's be really silly. Solomon says, look at your neighbor and make a funny face. Now, bark like a dog. <laughs> you better not have barked because I didn't say Solomon says. <laughs> Are we having fun? Ah, uh, who's winning? Now, Solomon says, waddle like a penguin. Now, Solomon says, moo like a cow. Now, flap your arms like a bird. Wait a second, Solomon didn't say flap your arms. <laughs> Solomon says to giggle. <laughs> now, Solomon says to play the air guitar. Solomon says to wiggle. Freeze. <laughs> Solomon didn't say to freeze. Ha. Now, the game is over. It's time to see who has won. Who has won? No confetti. Okay, kids. Now, oh, I give up. If you'd like to learn more about how I gained my wisdom through God, ask your parents to read my story in the Bible. You too can learn how God gives wisdom to those who ask for it. Thanks for playing! Bye kids!